Hi everyone, welcome to Home Arena Collectibles, where today we're going to be taking a look at the Jessica Jones from the Man-Thing Build-A-Figure Wave. This is obviously the TV series figure, the Netflix TV series, and as you can see it comes with the torso piece for the Builder figure right there. On the back of the box we have everything else in the wave, and then also a short bio and a picture of the character. So let's go ahead and get this thing open and take a closer look. And here is the figure out of the packaging, and it does not actually come with any other accessories other than the Builder figure piece. So it is just pretty much just everything you see here is what you get. No interchangeable hands or anything like that. I would have liked to see it maybe come with a camera or maybe some open hands, just something else that can uh, accompany the figure. Obviously, the plastic has been well used for the uh, good size Builder figure and other accessories in the wave, but I definitely think that this could have been an opportunity to come with something. But what we do get here is still very nice so it is mainly the same body really as uh, Electra over here just a little bit shorter Electra's neck and head are just a little bit higher right there but it's around about six and a quarter inches tall just a little bit shorter than that one right there uh, they do have the same legs but as you can see this one is just in that dark gray which still looks very very nice with those wrinkles and everything and creases in the jeans but over here we have a very awesome denim paint job I mean you've got different shades of blue in there and everything you got the button painted very very nice paint job indeed that kind of ruins it a little bit having the writing on the back there but it really really does look fantastic and then we have this leather jacket which I believe is new and it's painted well and it is quite a flexible plastic you can take it off and the arms don't actually look all that bad when you actually do take it off. They still kind of blend in with that black top right there. So it doesn't look like she's just got, you know, sleeves of a coat and then nothing there. It looks all right, to be honest. And then coming around to that head sculpt, very, very realistic looking. Definitely like the hair that they've been using on this wave. I hope they keep on using it. The very soft, pliable plastic, just like the leather jacket, so it doesn't hinder any of the articulation. You have the, uh, like I said, awesome character likeness, and it's done with that kind of new printed style that we get in just like DC collectibles use, as opposed to, you know, a painted on look. So uh, the eyes and the lips there, very, very nice indeed. And then just if we take a closer look at the jacket on the back, you can see you have that sort of leather texture on there. It's really, really hard to see, to be honest. I hope you can see it. Uh, the sort of wrinkling that you get, it looks awesome. And so as for the articulation for this figure, the head can look quite far up. It can also look down. You've got the left and right movement and pivots a little bit side to side. The arms rotate all the way around. Shoulders come out to the side. Rotation at the elbow and single joint right there. We have the rotation and the hinge at the wrist. Really, really good diaphragm right there. I do definitely dig that. Hips come all the way out to the side. You get the legs moving forward and back, rotationing up by the thigh, double jointed knees, and then you have the really good ankle pivot down there at the feet, and they do move up and down. And then you have this separate piece right here, which is uh, pretty much there just to hide that articulation, but it does definitely still give the effect of a boot. Now, obviously done that so they didn't have to make a new lower leg piece. It's probably just cheaper to go ahead and make this little sleeve and put it over the top instead of making a new calf section and putting the boot in there. But that still does look pretty good on its own. It does have some buckles on there that would have been nice if they were painted, but still, it's pretty good. It doesn't come with any other accessories, it definitely doesn't need them, but it just would have been nice if it did come with something like extra hands or something like that, maybe a camera, uh, maybe just a weapon or something like that, but overall it is still a pretty good figure. I definitely recommend you to go ahead and pick it up cheaper than the rest of the wave if you can, it's the one in the wave that obviously doesn't come with other stuff, so uh, if you can get it a little bit cheaper that will be better, and I think it will be a peg warmer just the reason that people won't see it as you know, a superhero looking figure or doesn't come with much of other stuff. So unless people are buying the Builder figure, I don't really think that this is going to sell very well. But that said, it is not a bad figure at all, and definitely the torso and these jeans and everything, like the mold itself, is very nice. So a customizer could use this for pretty much anyone. And like I said in my unboxing, it would actually be very nice to make a, uh, a custom like female Ghost Rider out of it, and I actually might try and do that, because it's already got the, you know, the basically biker look. Just got to try and do something cool looking with the hair and uh, maybe change it up for a skull or something like that. So thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to check out my Instagram and Twitter, the links are in the description below. It's homereno123. And if you want to check out some other videos from my collection, there's some links on the screen right now. And you can go ahead and subscribe for more Marvel Legends. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.